So, we can trust Takakesho to cuddle our babies, but not Ichi Yamamoto, is what Saturday seemed to show. This intriguing dual role of his needs exploring. As August informed, his tour practice task is to call out those in need of a shake-up. Men he deems to have huge potential that might not be fulfilled unless they work harder. Yutakayama is perhaps a lost cause. Injuries scything down any increased strength of will. But the youngest salaried wrestler is not. Hence this event on the tour's first day. September just gone saw Hirado Umi baptized in Sumo's top tier after highly generous promotion. He's always trained hard, so I knew he'd get here, said his coach Sakaigawa. But I worry for him, he added. He needs yet more desire to survive. Sumo desire is shaped by obstacle size and belief in one's strength to move it. In that context, should Keisho's instruction be seen? Having sped to 3-0 in September, Hirado foundered in choppier seas, losing six bouts from seven, then his last two, and only surviving through failures of others. In November he'll be the local star, and heavily willed to impress. In that context also should this be seen. And thank you so much, is Hirado's hearty cry. With Ichi Yamamoto, the background was thus. In May, he was leading with 8 and 2, 
but promptly burned out in his final five. In July, he would race to 6-2, and two before Covid ruled out his stable. And in September, he started 4-2, and two before losing 7 from 9. You must learn to fight when your tank's nigh empty and you're gasping in every direction for air, roared Takakesho through every gesture he made. <laughs> As a frequent observer of Yamamoto's practice sessions, I can tell you he's not used to this. In Hanaregoma stable, there's no one above to do this to him. But Shohozan, in his active days, had surely put him through worse. Hence, I backed him to do this somehow or other.
Two timely interventions in Takakejo's mind, November will tell us whether they worked. Thank you.